Hi, this video, I'm going to show you some search strategies to use when you're looking for information on criminal justice topics, but the theories apply to no matter what topic you're searching. So I'm going to work right off the criminal justice library research guide. So a fast way of getting there, we can just Google SC4 library CJ. Usually is the first thing that comes up. Here we are. And I'm going to go to the tab called search strategies. Um, so the first is phrase searching. So if your term is a phrase, I have some examples shown here. Some other examples, Mississippi burning, for example, or law enforcement. It's best to put your phrase in quotation marks because then that forces the database or even Google, this works on Google, to search it as a phrase. Otherwise it can separate the words. And then you can use what are called Boolean operators to refine your search. The most common one is the AND Boolean operator. So you use AND to find materials that have both your terms in them. So it narrows down your search results. So I have uh, some examples there. Like if you're doing racial profiling in the US Constitution, I can just put in uh, those terms. Always put your Boolean operators in capital letters. Otherwise the data make base might not recognize them or Google. When you're using Google, everywhere you put a space, it automatically puts an and. So you've already been using the and Boolean operator, even if you didn't know it. You or together similar terms. So here I have um, some examples like police or law enforcement. They don't mean the same thing, but let's say you wanna find articles or books, websites that have either term in them. So you'd or those together. Usually you get more results when you use or. You nod out terms you don't want and that you rarely use not, but you'll know when you have to use it. Um, for example, let's say you were looking up use of force, it's like criminal justice articles on use of force, and you were getting a lot of information on tasers, but you didn't want that information. So you could say use of force, not tasers, and it will eliminate all of the articles or eBooks that mention the term tasers as a keyword. So it narrows down your search results. You can combine terms to refine your search. Um, so I have a couple of examples here. Let's look at the second one. Let's say we're looking up uh, how do police or law enforcement handle domestic violence cases. For example, we could put in domestic violence and police or law enforcement. Note how I put the ors in parentheses because it works like math. So it will do that part first and then the rest of the search string. Otherwise, it would read it left to right. So it would read it domestic violence and police. So you get a lot of articles uh, on your topic probably or law enforcement. So then you would get a lot of law enforcement articles that had nothing to do with domestic violence. That's if we don't have our parentheses in there. And when you're searching, work with different terms because um, a term used might not be one you thought of. So if you find an article that's right on your topic, look at some keywords that are used within that article. And you may want to go back and refine your search. Remember, you can always contact us if you need help with your searches. Thank you.